My name is Jim Parsons. I'm here with my wife, Anne Marie, and my friends from across the U.S. On October 1, my daughter, Carrie, was murdered in the Las Vegas mass shooting. According to the police, the FBI, and the coroner's office, my daughter was shot in the back with an AR-15 assault weapon modified with a bump stock at a range of about four football fields away as she ran for her life. Only an assault rifle modified with a bump stock and high-capacity magazines could fire so rapidly, so many rounds of ammunition without aim and kill so many within minutes. No one was targeted. None of them stood a chance. The agony will live with our family until we die. Our lives have been shattered. Living through this nightmare has been the most difficult thing our family has ever had to endure. Now the Parkland, Fort, Florida mass shooting, 17 more dead. An AR-15 assault weapon is almost identical to an M-16 assault weapon designed by the military to be used by well-trained soldiers to inflict maximum number of deaths on an enemy without the need to aim. An assault, an AR-15 assault rifle that killed our daughter was made even more lethal with the addition of a bump stock and high capacity magazines. There is no place in our society for assault weapons. My daughter, my daughter Carrie was 31 years old, a graduate right here at Arizona State University. She was recently engaged to a wonderful young man in September. But Carrie will never have the opportunity to marry the man that she loved. She will never have the opportunity to raise their children. And we will never have the opportunity to see our beautiful daughter Carrie again because Carrie is not coming home. These, tragedy, these tragedies will continue to happen if legislators do not act to stop them. Our lawmakers owe it to us to make sure that dangerous weapons that can claim dozens of lives in just minutes are not in dangerous hands. They need to pass common sense gun laws to make our kids, our schools, our communities safe from gun violence. So last week at this very spot, there was a proposed bill to ban bump stocks. Just bump stocks. It was not even allowed to be discussed, to even be discussed in committee. This is so disgraceful after so many horrific shootings. It shows such a, disregard, a disrespectful disregard for public safety. So, Governor Ducey, what you announced, what you announced, Governor Ducey, does not keep our children and our students safer. You paid lip service. You paid lip service to protecting our families. That's all you did. Please note that Jim and Anne Marie Parsons, we're not going away. And Governor Ducey, please know that these people in this audience and their families, they're not going away. Make no mistake, bills to enhance background checks must be passed. And here's where, here's where you can repeat after me. Bump stocks must be banned. Must be banned. Must be banned. High capacity, high capacity magazines must be banned. Must be banned. Assault weapons must be banned. Must be banned. There is no place in our society for these weapons. I applaud, I applaud the students of Parkland, Florida for their tenacious work and articulate voices. And I applaud the leadership of the students here, everyone here. Thank you. You are not, you are not tomorrow's leaders. 
You are today's leaders. This, my friends, is a historic moment. It's time for safety, it's time for action, and it's time for leadership. Thank you, and as we say in our family, carry on. Yeah.